and maybe W team, it's time for some motivation. Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. I just wanted to have a quick conversation with the fellas, okay? Because um, one thing I've been noticing is a lot of men have been getting jammed up lately. They're getting involved with people that they shouldn't be involved with. They're hanging out in places that they shouldn't be hanging out at or in places that they've never been a part of. Like there's some guys that want to earn stripes just by simply going to places such as the projects to make it seem like they're tough or they can walk or go anywhere they want to go. Man, let me tell you something right now, okay? You don't have to prove anything to anybody, okay? All you, all you need to do is live your life the best way you can. You need to avoid certain areas, not put yourself in certain predicaments where you know there's always trouble in this certain area. Just avoid certain places. Too many men are being crash out dummies for other men. Don't get yourself jammed up with any guys that always are in, that are always in trouble. They are always willing to crash out, especially guys that you know that are willing to crash out over females. Never put yourself in a predicament and hang around guys that are willing to crash out over females, okay? One thing that I'm personally doing that I'm teaching my sons. I'm teaching them that they don't have to be in certain areas that they never grew up in. And even if they did, they still wouldn't have to be. But my kids get to live a better lifestyle than I did. I'm not sitting up here saying that I had the worst life. But my kids definitely have it better than I do. So one thing that I'm teaching my kids is that if you never grew up on this side of the city. Or you don't know anybody on this side of town. Stay in your own sector. My kids are growing up in a middle class area, a middle to upper class area that we live in where I bought my house at. And I bought my house specifically so that my kids can have a better life. I wanted to make sure that my kids were able to ride their quads, their bikes and everything that they wanted to do down the street around our area without having any problems. Like my neighborhood is like real tight knit, like a real neighborhood watch type area. Where everybody knows everybody. And it's like just a bunch of people that work in civil service that live in my area. And unfortunately, by the grace of God, I was able to buy a house in this area about 11 years ago. So, you know, I, I just like to motivate the men. Like, and I just want to tell you, as you build yourself up in life, maybe some of you are already there. But I just want to I, I just want to have a heart to heart with you and just tell you how to stay away from certain people. Everybody can't go where you're going in life. Everybody aren't going to be what everybody aren't going to be able to do what you're doing in life. You are the key to your own success. Nobody else is the key to your success. Don't expect out don't expect any handouts from men. Don't expect any handouts from women. Be your own key to your own success. Nobody is going to help you along the way. They're only going to want to come in when they see that you got some type of motion. And when they see that you got some type of motion, curve them. Straight curve them. Don't let them in. Because people, some people, even the closest people to you, such as family members, they can be your biggest downfall while you're coming up in life. They can be your biggest downfall. And they can poss possibly try to persuade you to not do something that you want to give a try. Don't ever fall back on the goals that you have for yourself. Don't ever, never do that in life. I've told this story to my audience before. When I was a first, when I was first getting, um, coming into this YouTube space, I remember thinking long and hard about it. Uh, before I got into it, there was one year where I was about to start it. And then I was like, you know what? I don't want to do it because like this, and this is the, real, I, I can be real with y'all. I was thinking to myself, I don't want my sister's thinking a certain way about me, how I think about women. I don't want my mother thinking a certain way about me, about my real feelings towards some women and how they act. So that was kind of going to pers uh, persuade me to not 
be a YouTuber when I first started. You know what I'm saying? So I was about to fall back and not even do this. Y'all wouldn't even know who MABW is right now. And I was going to fall back on this just because of women. Just because I was worried about more, not other women's feelings out there, but it was more like my mother's feelings on it. My sister's feelings on it. You know what I'm saying? Like women I possibly may talk to in the future, their feelings on it. But you got to come to a point in your life where you got to understand that they hated Jesus. You're never going to be, you're never going to have people that fully agree with what you do. So why not just go ahead and do what you do? You can't be this tight rope type person walking your whole life on a straight arrow just because you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings in that matter. You know what I'm saying? You can't walk, you can't go around your life thinking, well, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to be with the norm. I'm not going to step on any toes. Life isn't about that, man. And I'm only here because I feel like we got to be realistic with women. For so long, I've already stated this before, but for so long, women have had platforms and they've been getting away with saying all types of brutal stuff about men. And men have never been able to rebuttal that without being called misogynist or any other type of name that these women want to call us when we don't agree with their rhetoric. But now, since men have coming out in droves, talking about the same stuff I, I talk about, who have been talking about this before me, we, we can see women for who they really are. And we don't care what they say about us or what they call us. Because we know that they only use shaming tactics when we hold them accountable. And it is what it is. Like, they know that when we hold them accountable, their only go-to is a shaming tactic. Or they'll say, you have a mother. Why do you talk about women like that? You have a black mother. You have a black sister. So what? We still can give our opinions as men. A lot of you women out there, you have black fathers. Why do you feel the way that you feel about men? Y'all don't want to answer that though. <laughs> Y'all don't want to answer that though. And that's my whole point. That's why I say it's damned if you do or damned if you don't with women. That's why men have to really just do what they want to do in life. Just do what you want to do. That's my biggest, that's the biggest uh, thing I want you to take from this video. Do what you want to do in life. Anything that makes you happy, do it. Don't miss out on an opportunity to do something that you want to do. Because there's men that are watching me right now that they don't want, they're not doing something right now because they don't want to take that risk or because they don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Men, I'm telling you right now, Take a risk in life. Take a risk in life. I took a risk in life with my YouTube channel. I took a risk in life starting my pressure washing business. I told my men, I told the men out there before. When I straight up bought all this equipment, I didn't have no experience with pressure washing. I said, you know what? I'm gonna buy the equipment and set it in my garage. And then I studied other YouTube channels about pressure washing. I learned how to work the equipment, uh, working on my own house, working it on my own car, my own driveway. I learned it before I actually went out in the field and started working on other people's houses, pressure washing them. So I just want the men out there to really take a leap of faith. Don't let nothing hold you back. Just take that leap of faith and do what you want to do because you will regret not doing something that you know you could have started a couple of years ago. And then if you do end up starting it, you be kicking yourself in the head like, man, I could have been doing this for a, cu a couple of years now, profiting off of it. You're missing out on so much profit now because you're scared to take that leap of faith. But my message to the men out there is just first, first and foremost, trust in God. Trust in God. And once you trust it and after you put your trust in God, take that leap of faith and start doing what you want to do. Start doing what you want to do. You have to try it. You never know how far you could have gotten until you at least, at least you, at, even if you do fail, at least you could say you tried it. At least you could say you tried it. Get your LLC. Go get your LLC. Sometimes in your own county, you could do it right over the computer. Pay about 150 to 200 bucks to get it started. Once you start getting some type of motion, you're going to keep on going. You're going to keep on going, especially when you start putting uh, money into the products 
or buying the equipment, you're going to keep going with what you want to do because you don't want to waste the money on not making something happen with the things that you purchased. So once again, salute to all the men out there. Salute to the MABW team. This is just this is just a message from your boy MABW. I, I hope I can encourage the men to go forward. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let nobody stop stop you from doing what you're doing. And damn sure, don't let women stop you from doing what you're doing. Keep pushing. Build your money up. Build your wealth up. And don't give it away. Don't give it away to any of these women out here. I do not care. I'll say that time and time again to you. Do not sit here and go broke for these women. There's nothing wrong with going out on a few dates here and there. But when you see these women can't reciprocate or do the same for you, cut them off. Cut them off early. If a lady can't reciprocate and do the same thing that you're doing for her, she can't do it for you, cut her off. Because y'all should be equally yoked if y'all are dating. I don't care if she is a single mom. If you choose to stay the single mom, if y'all equally yoked and she's a good lady, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. But it can't just be some single mother that's coming into your life telling you what you have to do for her and her children. You have to actually see that she's worthy. You make that choice. You can make that choice. I'm not going to sit up here and bash all single mothers, but I will tell men be MGTOW and don't cohabitate with them and live the life that you want to live on your own terms. Whether you deal with a lady that has kids or doesn't have kids, live your life on your terms and don't let anything stop you. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.